Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, my question is to the minister representing the Prime Minister, uh, Senator Abetz. Can the minister confirm that the Australian government instructed its officials to oppose moves within the OECD's export credit group to stop financial assistance for coal plants in developing countries? If so, why? The Leader of the Government in the Senate representing the Prime Minister, Senator Abetz. Mr. President, Mr. President, the very first thing that I think should be understood is that there are well over 1,000 million people in the world without a regular or decent supply of electricity, living in absolute grinding poverty. And there is no doubt that if we are to lift those people from that grinding poverty, we do need to provide them with a relatively cheap and reliable energy source. We believe that that can be best provided, in the short term at least, by clean coal such as that which Australia exports. Now, Mr. President, it is interesting, it is interesting that on this occasion the Australian Greens would have us champion the cause of, as I understand it, the United States in the OECD, whereas on this occasion we are in fact in lockstep with our near Asian neighbours such as Japan and Korea. So those that continually assert that we should be engaging with our Asian neighbours only do so when it suits them and then hide behind, if I can quote them back at themselves, the skirts and the petticoat of the United States when it suits them. And so, Mr President, what we have, what we have, or the forelock tugging, whatever terminology you might want to use, that is what the Australian Greens continually directed us, and here they are saying we should be championing the same cause as the United States when we are saying we are in lockstep with Japan and South Korea, our near Asian neighbours. So, Mr. President, we will announce uh, in due course uh, uh, that which we Thank believe you, Minister. ought to be occurring, for but the negotiations has are occurring. Senator Milne, a supplementary question. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. President. And I take that as a yes that the officials were instructed to do that. But what is interesting here is, given that the Prime Minister, Treasurer Hockey, Minister for the Environment, and now you, Senator Betts, are all using the lines straight out of Peabody Energy, straight out of Peabody Energy, America's biggest coal company PR document. Coal lifts people out of poverty. Routine, right here. Can you confirm that Peabody's instructions have now been given to the whole of the Liberal Party for their talking Thank you, points on coal? Senator, your time for asking the question has expired. Senator Abetz. Mr President, I can assure Senator Milne that I was not aware of whatever that company's name was, that they adopted what is a very common sense statement, and that is that coal genuinely has the capacity to lift people out of poverty. And if it is a fact, I don't care if Senator Milne says it, I will adopt it. So I don't care who says something if it is an objective fact. And there is no doubt, and I would encourage anybody else to say, how else can you lift people out of poverty other than through an energy supply that is reliable and cheap, and that is why, Mr left. President, whatever the company may have said is a statement of truth, a statement that we support, and therefore the cleaner the coal they can use, the better, and who's Thank got some you, of the Minister. cleanest the coal time in for the world answering the question we has have. Expired. Send them on a final supplementary yes, question. Thank you, Mr President. Uh, given the government's attack on the renewable energy target, the Renewable Energy Agency, the Clean Energy Finance Corporation, and now the promotion of coal and opposing curbs on coal, will the government now admit that it is the wholly owned subsidiary of the coal industry? Minister. Mr President, what a bizarre question from the Leader of the Australian Greens, who succeeded the Leader of the Australian Greens, who promoted a coal-fired power station for my home state of Victoria 
against a renewable energy supplier of hydroelectricity. Mr. President, the hypocrisy and the duplicity is galling. Mr. President, everybody in this place knows that you can support coal fired power stations and a renewable energy target. They are not inconsistent. We are pursuing both in a sensible manner, but Senator Milne, you and the Australian Greens, in your ideological driven hatred of hydroelectricity, have come unstuck 30 years later when you and your co Tasmania championed a coal fired power station against a sustainable renewable energy. Thank you, Minister. The time for answering the question has expired.